Hello, OK friends. Welcome back to my channel. This video is about the two full water culture fowls that you're seeing. These are no IDs, Trader Joe fowls. The one on the left here, last time when I did an update on this one, I believe this root was still just about here and now it has grown even longer. And this one too, they're both touching the bottom. And last time I said that there are five, um, th five root tips growing. Actually, so, so now th these are the three out of the five that had continued to grow. And the other two nubbins, they uh, did not turn out to be growing anymore. So they, it was, they, they were just two, they're still just two little bumps. I'm not sure if you can see them. No, it's too small. But again, let me just tilt it a little bit so it's easy to see. But I'm still happy that it's growing. And this root was the one that I upset, right? Because I was trying to push it down so that it would grow down. But I, I might have used too much force so that you see the root tip right there. It just stopped. <laughs> But, you know, in the middle, there's another root coming out. Overall, it's doing great. And the leaf is growing as we speak. And there's another root. And then this one, this one too, this root is now touching the bottom. And let's see. These two roots are growing very vigorously because a couple weeks ago there were still just really tiny root coming out of a seemingly dead root. And speaking of seemingly dead root, I want to show you something. Hopefully we can see from here. This root, right, looks normal up until this point. And then you see how this portion looks it's like completely dry. The velamen is really not there anymore. But then it got bigger. And it's and the color here looks really questionable as well. But you see how it grew further, this root. And this root is still growing. And it's growing into the water. So in the past, when I prepare orchid, sometimes I would actually cut the root right here, thinking that this root is no good or will become no good. But, you know, this this time around, I, I saved it or I did not cut it right away and it actually turned out to be a viable root. So, I just feel that I might have <laughs> always cut more roots than necessary before. So, I thought I would share that observation with you. Um, if you observe your roots enough you probably already know this but i thought you know if you're new to the chat um this my channel or new to the orchid growing hobby sometimes you might want to leave roots when in doubt so you don't want to cut more than necessary and then um what else can i show you oh yeah another water root that is growing so Overall, I think this one really is liking water culture. Um, and then I also want to share an observation and you guys can tell me if you agree. Um, I used to like to use glass um, for water culture and I still do and I really like the look and feel of it. Um, and sometimes I even, I, I used to have those round glass bowls, right? Um, for, for orchids and they look great but I find I personally think that or orchids like to be well we know orchids like like they like to be secured so if you find some containers that have that would allow them to have an easier better opportunity to grow roots to, to be touching the sides right but then you also want 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 to make sure that there is enough um, height for your orchid root to grow downward and then also sideways. 
right? It'll, I think they will adapt to that growing condition much better versus, you know, you give them a round bowl, you know, they will have to grow roots sideways for much longer to, 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 to be at, you know, to feel secure, you know? So I think, this is my opinion, I really think that um, if it's too wide, it's not good and if it's too shallow it's not good either because you really want the roots to have some room to grow down um, so that way you actually have more room for water and more root growth um, more room for root growth as, as well because I used to like to just use some water at the bottom and have this have the orchid all the way almost to the bottom it worked fine but I think the more water here right and if they're and the roots grow into the water a little more it's gonna help you um, reduce the the frequency of you having to rewater your orchid personally I only give give these two orchid um, fresh water every 10 days or so sometimes even two weeks when I water my other semi hydro orchids and they seems to be doing just fine. So, um, in other words, these two orchids do not receive weekly um, water uh, refresh. <laughs> so, they are doing fine. But, you know, if you prefer to have your water really, really clean every seven days, that may be okay as well. In fact, I know many people change their water every every week. I don't because I sometimes get a little lazy. Anyway, just some up observations and thoughts to share with you. Let me know what you think. And if you have other different types of experience, please do share as we can all learn from each other. All right. Take good care of yourself. I'll talk to you at the next video. Ciao.